office for a variety of issues. You might recall, let's go, as Warner Wolf said, to the videotape. Rosenstein discussed recruiting cabinet members to invoke the 25th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution to remove Mr. Trump from office for being unfit. People close to him during the campaign told me at early stages of dementia. Now listen, you can get mad at me if you want to. You can say that's not okay to say. But, but it is okay to say he is unfit. Invoke the 25th Amendment. This New York Times article basically showed us how Trump is not only in the early stages of dementia, but he is in cognitive decline. Watching this president from here, I discussed the 25th Amendment at the end of the first month of the Trump presidency. Join the Senate Democrat leader in calling on the vice president to remove this president by immediately invoking the 25th Amendment. He is unfit and he should step aside. And it may take a 25th Amendment to get him to step aside. If we applied those standards to Joe, we'd be invoking the 25th Amendment and asking him to step aside. Question. This is like a softball. You just knock it right out of the park. Not Joe. He's got to refer to the cards. Take a look. With the most recent hack by the Russians, would you say that this, this means We're not that... sure it's the Russians. Okay. With I the spot most... gun okay. I got a brief... On the, as I was on the plane, that's why I was late getting off the plane. I'll be in better shape to talk to you about it. I'll tell you what they sent me, okay? Uh, that, uh, the idea, first of all, we're not sure who it is for certain, number one. And what I did, I directed the full resources of the, of the government to assist in a response if we determined. That wasn't a hard question. That didn't need notes.